name is Ms. Nicole and I am a Youth Services Librarian with the Grundy Library. Welcome to today's Little Steamers video. Today we're going to be doing a quick activity to create butterflies. You only need a few supplies, so let me show you what you need today. First, you're going to need a white coffee filter that you can flatten down into a circle. Next, you're going to need a set of markers. So I prefer the fat tip markers because you can spread color a little bit easier than with the skinny tip markers, but definitely use whatever you have on hand. Next, you're gonna need one pipe cleaner or chenille stem. So this is for our body of our butterfly. So you just need one, it can be any color. I have these metallic ones lying around the house, so that's what I'm gonna use. Lastly, you're gonna need a cup of water and then optionally, you can also use a paintbrush for this activity. I'm gonna show you two ways to make your butterfly, one with the paintbrush and one without. All right, so let's get started. Here are the supplies you're gonna need laid out for today's activity. Here, I'm going to take our white coffee filter, lay it flat and make it spread out into its circle shape. I'm just gonna keep pressing it down on both sides, just kind of get it as flat as possible. Next, I'm gonna take my markers, whichever color I want, and just gonna start coloring in our coffee filter in any type of pattern. Um, as you can see, I chose purple, and I am just gonna be coloring, 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 coloring. And then you'll see as I add more colors from the other markers and just do a sporadic um, pattern, nothing too precise. And these are the colors that we are gonna use to mix together. So just make sure that you pick colors that you want to use um, for mixing together. They don't have to be colors you think will mix well together. They can just be any colors you like, but they are eventually going to mix together. So we are going to continue coloring and then we'll go on to our next step. Another way you can color in the filter is just by coloring in the center as I'm doing here. This allows the color to spread a little bit more but it doesn't make it as colorful, but it's still a pretty cool effect. Next, we're gonna fold our coffee filter. First, we're gonna fold it in half to make a half moon shape. Make sure you press down to create a crease. After that, we are going to fold it one more time into a triangle shape. And now we're all set to go. Next, you're gonna take your cup of water, you're gonna take your triangle and rest the tip of the triangle into the water. So you don't wanna press it down too far into the water, you kinda just want it to let it sit right on top of the water. You'll start to see some of the marker bleed into the water there and that shows that it, the experiment is starting to work. So just set your cup aside and let the water absorb your, into your coffee filter. And next we're gonna show you the second way to do this project. For in the next version of this activity, you're gonna take your cup of water and a paintbrush dip the paintbrush into the water and use that to spread the colors together. So you're just gonna tap the water onto the coffee filter, try to use as much as you can to really get the colors starting to mix together. As you can see here, as I tapped the paintbrush onto the coffee filter, you can see how the colors started blending together. And so you just wanna keep doing that um, throughout the whole coffee filter. Use, uh, make sure you have something underneath the coffee filter also in case any of the colors bleed through. And then you're just gonna paint that water around until it's completely covered um, the coffee filter. And then you're gonna wanna let it dry once you finish. All right, let's check on our first project. As you can see, the water has completely soaked through the coffee filter. So we're gonna just take it out, unfold it, and lay it flat onto a paper towel so that it can dry in the circular shape that it should be in as our other coffee filter on the right. So we're just gonna lay that flat and hopefully it dries and we'll be able to see the pattern once it does. All right, and here they are, both of them dried. 
As you can tell, they have two very different types of patterns, but they both are really cool and have a really fun tie-dye look to them. So usually, if you want to make a butterfly, you can just use one coffee filter, squish it together like so, and add your pipe cleaner to the center here to keep it together and make the body of your butterfly. But since we have two coffee filters created, I'm gonna actually combine both of the coffee filters into one butterfly. So here I'm gonna scrunch up this one and put it on top of the other one. And then ha that way we have four wings instead of two. Use my pipe cleaner to wrap around the middle and then twist it together to keep it um, together. And then we are going to just kind of bend the top into like little uh, antenna ears and fluff out our wings um, so that they're a little bit more um, pronounced and visible. And then, um, yeah, there you have it, our butterfly. Thank you for joining us for today's little steamer video. I hope you had a lot of fun making your butterflies. I think ours turned out pretty good and I hope yours did as well. For more little steamer videos or any of our other programs, please visit our website at www.gruntylibrary.org or check out our YouTube page or check out our social media pages. Thank you so much and we can't wait to see you here for our next video. Goodbye.